I'm Jenna Kunz. I'm Nate Hedgy. I'm Alice Panik Glenn. And we are journalists who report on indigenous communities in the United States using audio journalism. We're here to talk about how you can use audio to tell underreported stories. As you begin your research and pre-reporting step, think of yourself as a scientist and develop a hypothesis. Make a claim or a statement that you plan to prove as a result of your investigation. Expect your hypothesis to be challenged, to change, and to evolve based on what you learn in your reporting. Create your hypothesis knowing that it will probably change based on the new information that you gather in your interviews and in your research. When we started Alaska Natives on the Frontline, we wanted to create a story that focused on the resilience of the Inupiaq people in the face of climate change. That was the beginning of our hypothesis. After a series of interviews, listening to trends across the Inupiaq community, our hypothesis eventually became the environment has always been changing and the Inupiaq people have always been adapting. Why is this story important? Why do these voices matter? Creating a universal line that captures the why of your project can be a North Star for you throughout your investigation. It's a phrase that may help recenter you and also a value that you want to communicate to listeners. For Promise Justice, my universal line was, a pattern of mismanagement and neglect led to a series of in-custody deaths at jails overseen by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Everyone's reporting process is going to look different, but most audio reporting includes a combination of research, interviews, note-taking, and returning to your hypothesis. Make a list of the people, businesses, or organizations you'll be interviewing. All these people should represent perspectives that you want to include in your project. Brainstorm interview questions. For our reporting, we asked each community member the same three questions. What has remained the same throughout your lifetime here? What has changed? What are some ways that your profession and lifestyle has adapted to the changing environment? Plan your technology. Make sure that you have a device where you can record conversations, interviews, and other sounds. You can do this on your phone or a recording device. Transcription software is also useful, especially in the editing process. Take time to write down notes immediately after an interview. You'll have a recording of your conversation, but you'll also want to record your own thoughts and connections so that you don't later lose them. You'll also want to habitually be returning to revise your hypothesis as you gather more information. Promise Justice began after I got a phone call from a guy who shared that their son's friend had died in a tribal jail. I started doing some digging and talking with community members because there were some questions about this death. And that's when I began investigating jails on reservations overseen by the Bureau of Indian Affairs, sifting through paperwork, talking with families, and I started noticing a pattern of mismanagement and neglect emerging. For instance, people needed medical care, but instead they were put in jails with no medical personnel. I developed a hypothesis that led to my investigation, and I adjusted it by listening to trends and the responses I received. And eventually, my hypothesis became a pattern of mismanagement and neglect led to a series of in-custody deaths at detention centers on reservations. Be prepared for your hypothesis to be broken and snapped in a hundred different ways. That's part of the process and it just means that you're doing your best to tell the most authentic story you can. With your hypothesis and universal line in mind, listen to all of your audio and throw yourself into the editing process. There are no shortcuts here. You have to do the work and it's not always easy. Choose a great opener. Think dessert before vegetables. You want to start your podcast with an intriguing and engaging opener. Enlist the help of others. A good partner and editor can help make the story engaging and easier for people to listen to. Feel free to share your polished audio with interview subjects before publishing so that they feel comfortable and confident when the reporting is eventually published. This may not always be appropriate, especially in instances of investigative reporting, but it's what Alice and I did for our project, and it helped us build trust and confidence with the people that we interviewed. If your project is on the longer side, like over 10 minutes, use the technique of signposting to remind people where they are in the story. Journalists use signposting to remind the listener where they are in a story, you know, who they're talking to, that kind of thing. Remember the elements that make audio reporting so powerful. Emotions, accents, laughter, unique sounds, and honest conversations. Thank you.